All right, hey guys, I am back for this hole. Um, I just wanted to show you my current bag setup here for hole four. I believe I'm gonna go at this today with a uh, navigator ball. I don't really think uh, that I need too much power, um, but when it comes to an actual scoring round, and an actual, you know, it's important, I'm probably gonna go at it with a uh, Santa ball. Just so you know, you don't really need extra power here, I don't believe. But we'll see. We'll see. If it doesn't look like my navigator's good, I'll throw on something else like a katana. Maybe have just a little bit extra power. But I think, I think I should be good, even on a backbone. All I'm going to try to do here is hit this fairway. Up. And... It is in between clubs, so I was completely wrong with that. Let me just throw on a Titan here. Um, I'm going to try to model my shot from yesterday. Just throw a tiny bit of backspin here. So you see, the, the thing that I'm going to try to do is just kind of groove this a little bit right up in between here. And then the adjustment is about four rings, so it looks like the best way for you to adjust is going to be, you know, coming in from that way. Great shot! And not quite enough, so that's too much for short end of uh, mm -hmm. backbone. You might want to go out with maybe 0. .5 backspin. Try 0. .5 backspin there. But I do highly recommend that shot. Um, and what did I put on? Was it Katana or Titan? I don't even remember. I was so rushed there. Because I didn't expect to show up and be in between clubs. That's one of the tricks that you see me do. I, I put on the ball. Like if I know it's going to be a par 3. I put on the ball that I use going into it. So I don't have to switch and waste time. Now granted, I still ran out of time because I didn't expect to be that in between. So I would highly recommend maybe, maybe 0.5 backspin for this Perfect one. shot! And then just kind of messing with the side spin to it because you see where his landed, his was not right enough. It was nice not off. left enough. So it should have had like a little bit more side spin. You know, you notice I showed you yesterday, if you watched my hole from yesterday, that it's like a nice little lull in there to where you just got to play with the side spin to where you need to get it more than anything. Birdie. It's basically just fidgeting with the spin. So what I'd try is, you know, like a bar and a half of left and just kind of see where that is see where that gets you 30. the only thing I messed up with was uh, because I think mm -hmm. I played it so the distance is a little bit different with the wind and everything I think I did uh, plus my landing zone was probably a little bit different I bet you that's what it was more than anything I use a bar and a half of backspin on expert Of course, getting this as a tiebreaker is going to be nearly impossible. Um, I'm going to go over on this part of the fairway. I'm going to do it with some side spin. Great shot! Not a big deal, it's just a tiebreaker. In fact, let's just save some time here and just give this guy the win. <clears throat> All right, so uh, you saw what I did here on the Pro-T. Um, I would recommend using less backspin. And maybe, maybe, I forget, 
You might want to watch it, see if I had a katana or a titan on, but uh, you might want to use a titan there with a backbone, 0.5 of backspin, and then use a little bit of left and just play with it until you're kind of in a groove where it looks like it's pointed just to the right of the hole because that right to left wind is still going to bring it back to the left a little bit. So see if you can't use all that advice to try to find a spot to where you can't just uh, give that one a good go. And uh, good luck with that. Um, and uh, I will see you guys on uh, hole five.